Hey everyone, Mike here, and this time I'm speed painting the stalker from Nemesis. So as you can see, I've primed the whole thing in black, and now I'm just going to be dry brushing the entire body with Dark Reaper. At this part, I'm making sure I have most of the paint off my brush when I'm doing this, so I don't get any of the paint running into the gaps in the carapace. The brush I'm using here is actually a makeup brush. So as I said, this color is going over the entire body, but I'm running the brush perpendicular to the grooves and gaps so that those spaces stay black. Now if you do mess up and get some paint into the details, you can just put a black wash over those areas later. After the entire body is covered, I'm switching to a small flat brush that's kind of frayed, and I'm using this as my second dry brush. I'm going to be using Thunderhawk Blue this time, and I'm only painting the top surface of the body and the tentacles. I'm leaving the underside alone. Next I'm going to be painting all of these smaller tentacles coming out of the head and torso. The first color I'll be using is Barak Nar Burgundy. I've thinned this down with a bit of water and I'm picking out all of the little tentacles. I'm leaving a small line of black between these tentacles and the rest of the body, just to separate them visually. Again, if you cover too much of these and it starts to look like a giant purple blob, you can just put a black wash over the tentacles when you're done and get that definition back. There's also a small patch of something on the back of the head that doesn't look like carapace and I'm painting this with a burgundy as well. Next I'm switching to Screamer Pink and I'm going to be using my small flat dry brush again. I'm now dry brushing all of the areas I just painted with the burgundy and I'm only using downward strokes over the top surface of these tentacles. For the harder to reach tentacles I'm using a small brush just to paint the upper surface and you can also use this to put on a second smaller layer of highlight over the burgundy. Here's a progress picture of what it looks like so far. Next, I'll be switching to German Grey for what looks like blades coming out of two of the tentacles, as well as some sharp tips coming out of others. I thought about painting these bone color, but I wanted to keep the HR Giger vibe going and went with a dark grey instead. Once that's dry, I'm switching to German Field Grey, which I've watered down a lot, about equal parts water and paint. I'm using this to both edge highlight and to transition the tips to a lighter grey. I'm adding two to three layers of this paint on the edges of the blades, and then I'm painting the tips, always moving my brush towards the tips. Next I'm going to paint the frame that the stalker is clinging onto. I'm painting the part below the hinge with Celestra Grey and then the rest of it with Gunmetal. Just like I did with the other Nemesis miniatures, I'm painting the floor with Gunmetal as well. Now I'm switching to Non Oil and I'm going to use this on all of the parts I just painted with Celestra Grey and Gunmetal. And the last thing I'm doing is some dry brush edge highlights on the same areas. For Celestra Grey areas, I'm dry brushing with Corax White, and I'm only hitting the edges with this. For the silver part of this frame, I'm dry brushing with Shining Silver. The final step is just to paint the rim. I'm using more German Grey for this. Once the paint is dry, you'll want to spray the whole thing with a varnish. I've been using Army Painter's Satin Varnish for the Aliens, just to give them a bit of a sheen. And there you have it, a hopefully very simple process for painting your stalker from Nemesis. 
Thank you very much to all my patrons for supporting these videos and a special thanks to Brian Jones. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.